Shalom, y'all. Randy Eid here, uh, Heart for Israel and Heart for Israel uh, and Judah. Uh, I'm recording this video uh, for my birthday, which is something that I've never, ever done before. Uh, it's a milestone birthday for me, uh, what I call a signpost uh, birthday. And uh, it's rather a significant event because it is my 70th birthday. Okay, so I'm doing this video because Facebook keeps asking me if I want to suggest an organization to donate to on behalf of my birthday. So Abba Father impressed upon my heart uh, to do this video to share with you all. His great love, which is one of the things Wendy and I do when we minister to others. And who is he? yod heh vav -Hey, Yehovah, self-existent Father of love. Uh, we share about Israel. Uh, I play the violin, uh, which the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, uses to touch the hearts of people. Then Wendy and I pray with and for people. So rather than suggest donating to some group that Facebook suggests, I'm asking you to consider directing your prayers as well as your finances to help us directly. Should Abba Father lead you uh, uh, to help us in this way? When Abba directs our steps uh, to go somewhere to minister to a certain group of people or puts on our heart uh, something in this manner, um, we like to be able to say, you know, like we can get in our car and go. Sometimes we do, uh, sometimes uh, we don't because we just don't have the finances to do it. <clears throat> but we take to heart the word of James chapter 1 verse 22 where he tells us to be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving ourselves so in being a doer of the word we use our personal finances resources and the uh, occasional help uh, from other brothers and sisters when uh, Yah puts on their hearts uh, to help us with the help of your prayers and finances, we can obviously do and accomplish so much more than us just funding ourselves. Uh, I'll put on the screen shortly our contact information where you can get a hold of us um, and help us financially. You can also show your support for us by visiting our Shopify store, Signpost Scripture Tees, and purchase a t-shirt with scripture prints on them. It's a great way to start a conversation about the Lord when you're out in the marketplace of life. Okay, so just like my 70th birthday as a signpost, uh, I call these scriptures signposts that Abba Father gives me to put on t-shirts. Uh, I call them uh, signpost scripture tees because of Jeremiah 31 21. Let me read it for you. It says to set up signposts make landmarks, set your heart towards the highway, the way in which you went. And what is that way? The Word became flesh, Yeshua, Jesus, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. That's John 1.14. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to share three things with you. Uh, a short testimony about what Abba Father has called us to do for the kingdom. Uh, I'm going to play the violin for you, um, releasing musical frequencies that are also uh, related to the Hebrew Aleph Bet, and, uh, which is a, a really a connection point uh, between uh, Abba and ourselves, uh, the Ruach HaKodesh uh, and our spirit. Uh, I'm going to uh, pray for you uh, and pray uh, Yehovah's blessings over you. Uh, if you're not already uh, acquainted with our Facebook page, Heart for Israel, Heart for Israel uh, and Judah, as well as our YouTube channel, uh, now's the time. Please take some time and check them out if you haven't already done so. Uh, any way uh, that we can get the word out um, uh, for Yehovah, uh, God, we will do so. We started out uh, in 2010 to encourage people uh, to pray uh, for the peace uh, of Jerusalem as commanded to us in Psalm 122. We encourage others to pray for Israel and Judah 
as well as to pray for those Jewish people who have accepted Yeshua as Messiah who are doing kingdom work there in the land of Israel. In fact, let me read Psalm 122. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together, where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, to the testimony of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For thrones are set there for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls, prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of the brethren and companions, I will now say, Peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. Abba Father gave us a mandate uh, in 2014 uh, when we were in Israel uh, to uh, begin playing uh, unto the Lord, basically releasing notes on the violin that correspond uh, with certain frequencies, uh, also tied to the Hebrew uh, Aleph Beit. And we did that in various places uh, around Israel. And when we're not in Israel, um, he put on our hearts to be uh, ambassadors, uh, to travel uh, and share his love with others, uh, those who have an ear to hear about what's going on in Israel, uh, the prophetic things that uh, the, uh, Yah is doing to redeem his people, to redeem us, um, and the times that we live in. Um, are, are, are amazing. I'm, I don't think I have to tell you <laughs> the kind of times that we're living in uh, and the things that are going on. Uh, so it's even more important for us uh, to be sharing with people, uh, playing the violin over them, uh, praying for them, and building covenant uh, relationships. We presently minister to a handful uh, of, of groups here in Colorado and New Mexico, uh, praying with them, playing the violin, uh, sharing about Israel. And uh, we also do this with uh, Zoom meetings uh, and uh, uh, phone calls. So recently, we, Wendy and I were uh, out on the Navajo Reservation, uh, actually back in April. Uh, releasing the sounds of the kingdom uh, through the violin, um, supporting our uh, sister in the Lord who is Navajo uh, from the Diné uh, people. Psalm 48 and Jesus name, Father, over them, Father, so that they may prosper, that they may come into their destiny, Father. We just thank you for making them the 48th to 8th state, Father. Father, we say, Great is the Lord, and great to be praised had an opportunity to uh, lift her up, uh, lift her arms up, so to speak, uh, in several different places, and then go uh, to four corners and release kingdom sounds with the violin. Frequencies, God frequencies, uh, I like to call them. Uh, and so uh, we had an opportunity to do that, and uh, it was interesting. Our, our, uh, while we were there at the four corners area, our sister, uh, kind of tripped over a rock. Watch out! Oh, oh. No. Oh. oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for dusting her off and, and uh, praying for her, um, uh, I started to play the violin. She began to weep, uh, and uh, as I was playing the violin, I kind of stopped. She says, no, no, don't stop. Uh, keep, keep playing. And so I was, as I was playing, um, she kept uh, 
crying out to the Lord. Uh, and afterwards, uh, she expressed to us that uh, she had a vision from the Lord of her people being on horseback, being persecuted. And so uh, there's, uh, there's been so much pain, uh, you know, regarding First Nations people. And uh, there are a number of people who believe that the healing of America won't take place uh, until First Nations uh, people have been healed. And it's not just First Nations people, it's a lot of other people who have been persecuted, uh, people of faith, uh, the Irish people, uh, the uh, people from Africa uh, coming here uh, in slavery. So we're praying uh, that the work that we do and where uh, Yah leads us uh, will uh, be of benefit uh, as He leads us. And this shirt that I'm wearing here, uh, is Genesis 1 uh, in the Navajo language, in the Diné language. Okay, so we've come to the portion here uh, for my 70th birthday where I'm going to play the violin uh, for you. And uh, thank you for allowing me uh, to do that. Uh, this uh, t-shirt uh, is another one. Uh, Deuteronomy 6.4 Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad in the Hebrew. A uh, very important verse because it has to do with the Hebrew word Shema. And of course, uh, the, uh, that means to hear. Uh, and it also means to do. And I referenced it earlier with a scripture from James, being uh, not just hearers of the word uh, only, but to be doers uh, of the word. So, uh, what I'm going to play for you here uh, is uh, not traditional kind of worship music. I'm not here to entertain you, yeah, but I'm just going to play and release some frequencies. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to play. Uh, some of it is based on just uh, what the rock, what the Holy Spirit uh, gives me. Uh, some of it is based on um, <coughs> A variety of things let's just say but there is a relationship I believe with uh, frequencies and uh, with the uh, Hebrew uh, Aleph Beit uh, the alphabet uh, so uh, the scripture is important because I want to hear from God and I think most of you want to hear from God uh, and he does speak to us uh, but we need to be listening to him uh, as well we see an instance uh, in uh, Genesis uh, chapter 3 uh, where uh, Yah is trying to uh, speak uh, to Adam and Eve uh, after the incident um, uh, with the serpent. Uh, we also uh, read in um, uh, of an instance where uh, Abba Father speaks to Noah, to Noah. He speaks to Abraham. He even appears. Uh, and yet, so, um, it, it, what, what I feel like Yah is doing in my heart and my life is he wants me to hear him. So I have to be in a position of, of listening in order to hear his voice. So once I'm in that position and I can hear, uh, and I do for, hear from him, uh, I need to understand what he's saying. Once I understand that, um, once I once I hear, once I shma, uh, um, and I'm understood, uh, I need to guard, which is the Hebrew word shmar, and I treasure uh, what he tells me, uh, what he instructs me uh, to do, and then I have to be obedient. So there's a, there's a lot wrapped up into that, and uh, hope I'm not trying to you know, complicate it for you, but this is just kind of my my journey. Uh, along the way here, so uh, I'm going to play for you, and and I uh, and I pray that you would take a moment and allow uh, the Creator of the universe, Yahovah, Yod Hey Vav Hey, self-existent Father of Love, uh, to bless your spirit uh, and to see what He says to you uh, through this. So uh, I'm going to play for a few minutes, and and some of this has to do. Uh, with the names of God, uh, free, um, different things that uh, Yah gives me, uh, different circumstances and, and, and things where um, he's ministered to me and shown me things. So 
Here goes. Abba, I just pray that you would bless my brothers and sisters uh, who are uh, listening to this, that you would touch their hearts uh, as I'm playing unto you, uh, Abba, that you would speak to their hearts. Uh, and I thank you for this opportunity uh, to do this. Uh, and I thank my brothers and sisters for allowing me uh, to um, do this for them uh, if they're still listening. <laughs> Abba, I thank you that you release us from uh, things like spirit of fear because you are the path uh, of life. Uh, we seek your counsel, uh, Father, and we're grateful that as we pray unto you, uh, you are the Prince of Peace. You hear our prayers, um, and we're just thankful, Father. Uh, you are the one who heals our diseases, and we, um, we recognize uh, that you are our Savior. 
Yeshua uh, means salvation and uh, you are the one who keeps uh, Israel um, and so I'm thankful uh, Father that you love us and that you care for us and I am just blessed uh, Father that you uh, have allowed me that you've given me gifts and talents that I can share with my brothers and sisters uh, to bless them um, and so I just thank you uh, in the mighty name of Yeshua um, I've uh, had the wonderful uh, joy of being uh, a, a part of many oops that's my phone excuse me <laughs> uh, not crickets I've had the wonderful opportunity to be a part of many different worship teams uh, playing also with different musicians from um, country to uh, jazz to uh, bluegrass, uh, even a rock band I played in. But my greatest joy is playing unto the Lord. But playing in worship groups, um, uh, when I go out and play, it's not about uh, performance. Uh, if you want to great album of uh, great violin music, classical violin music, uh, go get a Maurice Sklar album, uh, or a Yasha Heifetz, or Itzhak Perlman, Joshua Bell, any number of people who are uh, in that realm. But Yah's given me a measure of talent uh, that uh, I'm hoping that um, will bless you uh, through the Spirit. And so I'm going to play one more tune here. Uh, <coughs> for you and uh, when I get to it uh, so here it is I just want to thank you, uh, all of you who, who have participated in wishing me a happy birthday. I just pray that this little video has blessed you, uh, being able to, I just thank you for the opportunity of being able to share with you a little bit about what we're doing ministry-wise, um, sharing with you the opportunity of helping us through prayer or finances, however, uh, uh, Abba Father leads you. Uh, even if you don't, we still love you. Uh, I was really blessed today by a brother who wrote me, <clears throat> Aloha and happy birthday, Randy. May this year be the best year of your life. Uh, that really touched my heart. Uh, I appreciate that so much, David. And so um, I'm, I'm very thankful uh, for my my friends, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. And so um, I just want to um, pray over you, play, 
I'll pray blessing since I've already played over you. And so in the book of Numbers, uh, the Lord spoke to Moses. And so we know that uh, the Creator speaks to us, that Yehovah uh, speaks to us. And so um, Adonai spoke to Moses saying, Speak to Aaron and his son, saying, This is the way that you, sh you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them, uh, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And so shall his, his name be put on the children of Israel and he will bless you. And may he do that. And so I, I just pray these blessings over you. Abba Father, Abba Father, I just cry out to you for my brothers and sisters in these times that we live in. May you bless your people. May you speak to them. May you give them shalom. I speak shalom over people's lives. Uh, I speak a uh, covenant of peace over you and just ask that Abba blesses you abundantly and protect you in these perilous times that we live in. Shalom, shalom, and shalom. Thank you.